Normally when you play Minecraft, you have the entire world to explore. But instead of having to do that, I wanted to really limit myself and actually start off by doing a 10 by 10 border. Then each 10 days or each episode is going to be, I'm going to then let the border extend by 10. So next one is going to be 20, then 30 and so far and so on. This is really going to challenge me to do as much as I possibly can without having much place to do it in. So let's jump right into it. Let's have some fun. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's roll. And basically the idea of this series is that I really want to keep it an old school Minecraft theme where you really go just down to the smallest details, do a lot of stuff and it's just very raw and not crazily over edited or anything like that. Just very raw and just old school. Oh, all right, let's see how this is gonna go. I think this is gonna be an interesting concept. So of course, at this moment right now, we're just waiting for, <laughs> for next episode already because we want the world to expand. But yeah, we got a village over here which there's gonna be a long, long time before we can even get anything worth of that. Like that's gonna be forever until that has any sort of influence on anything. See, I would like to breed the chickens, but I do need seeds so I can actually get some food as well. But let's get a bunch of wood right here. And basically, if we don't get a sapling, well, then we're pretty much screwed. So hopefully it doesn't drop outside the border and actually some of them inside is going to give it to us. All right, so let's quickly do tools as so we can actually make some progress. Yeah, I definitely just got to remove this whole mountain thing right here at some point. We got a sapling. That is absolutely lovely. We got three chickens. We got one sheep. Oh, we got another sapling. That's cool. One sheep. Does that mean that Oh, that probably is not going to be able to be picked up? Maybe is there other sheep near? Doesn't look like it. Actually, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be using beds. There is no way I'm going to sleep at all. Okay, let's do some tools real quick. So we got that, that, and that. That's probably all we need for now. That's not true, actually. Even though it's going to be forever for it to grow, I am definitely going to actually plant this seed right here. We can actually get these ones on the outside, not these, though. Alright, I think that's everything we can utilize from up here right now. Let's actually chop these down, see if we can get one more sapling before we make our first little trip down, I guess. Yeah, I would have liked to have gotten that, but it doesn't really matter. We still got three saplings, which is very nice. I suppose we just dig down now and hopefully manage to get some iron, at least somewhat quick. Not iron, but coal is absolutely something that I'll take, man. So I can actually see something. And it's going to make the video a little bit better because <laughs> you guys can also see something. Let's just grab every single piece of coal that we can get from inside right here now. I am liking the fact that it was all inside the border. That could have just as well not been. See, what I think is extremely interesting about this idea is that since I have such a small area with this 10 by 10 border, there is just not much content that can come out of a video like this. But I want to try my absolute best to do as much as possible and as well as the fact that it's not much to do. It's only got to be done in 10 days because after the 10 days we go to episode 2 and things expand. So basically this is like me challenging myself to see if I can actually manage to do a lot with not that much. And I genuinely have no idea if I can or not. <laughs> I truly don't. What I do know is I got to find some diamonds. Nope. Actually, iron. A diamond would be very cool as well, but I would like to find iron and I'm thinking the chances of us getting any sort of water down inside this cave right here is going to be so small, but that's the only way we can get water right now unless we do a cauldron, which that could actually be an idea. But again, we need a lot of iron and I don't know if that's going to be enough inside this small little 10 by 10 right here there goes the first pickaxe my question is why is copper not a more useful block in terms of building it's actually really cool you can do a lot with it in terms of building but it just does not have that much of a purpose man it needs more that's something i always think about honestly but if you think about it right we have 10 days which is 20 minutes per day so we get quick calculations that must be three hours and 20 minutes is what we got to do as much as possible in this small little area right here. Of course, that is if you don't sleep at all, which I am not thinking of doing at all. Maybe I'll sleep like once if there's like a million phantoms at some point in the future. I'm breaking everything right now. I would like to just build another crafting table, but I feel like I should probably conserve my wood at least for now. Yeah, I should definitely make sure I actually pick up these eggs from the chickens so we can hopefully get just some more chickens. Or I could just... As soon as I actually get a decent amount of iron, just get a hopper and then put the chickens down. Is it already turning night? What are you? Nah, I don't like this at all, bro. That's 
way too quick. Let's make two pickaxes for now. You know what? Now that I think about it, does it really matter that it's nighttime when I can just <laughs> literally do like two freaking torches? No, okay. Maybe not just two torches, but a very, very few torches, and this area is absolutely safe. Okay, that should be everything completely lit up. And if it's not, well, then I'll just die. There's a tree grown. I like to see that. I very much so like that. See, there is just a village over there. There's an iron golem right there. Oh, the iron you could get from that. And uh, How many episodes would that be? Like day 60, 70, something like that, maybe? I think it's going to be a little longer than I actually thought think it might be. I think it's gonna be a while. Now the tree has grown though, that's an absolute massive dub. You know what, I suppose while I wait for all these to break down and hopefully give me some saplings, I'll actually start taking out this mountain right here because it is very much so in the way. I know I just lit it up, but it, it's, it shouldn't be here. It's annoying. I'm most likely gonna need every single block of space that I can possibly get. All right, I'm cool with this for now. I definitely do not have to worry about saplings. I mean, I already got in a bunch. Yeah, let's see if we can find some iron. And for once in my life, I'm actually going to use my brain cells and take this crafting table with me. Oh my god, I'm hearing something. I think I hear lava. Oh my god, no way. That is... Oh, this is actually a game changer. This is actually... Bro, this was literally the first wall spawn I did. I didn't even try to get any other, like, seeds or anything like that. This is literally the first seed I tested out, man. Oh my god. I hope I don't die. <laughs> I really hope I don't mess this up. You've got to be kidding me. This is incredibly... Like, this is really... Water is just gonna make such a huge difference, man. I need iron. I need buckets now. It even expands out here. Here as well, which is interesting. Let's go down here. Can I? There we go. Oh, cool. There's some gold, which is absolutely useless. Oh, iron, 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 iron. Cool. Badass. All right. Got to start off by not drowning. Let's try and make our way over to the iron. I believe it's like maybe if I just go through right here. Here should be good. Okay, so maybe I gotta go down a little bit, I suppose. It's literally right here, so if I just... I don't need all this water, so I can just do this gravel little thing right here and then go down. One, two. Oh, are you kidding me? That's it? Or are you playing a game with me? That's... on. Ah, oh, for I was very much so hoping for more than that. You know what? I will take it, man. I'm happy with that. I think I'm just gonna go like two layers down because I can see the floor right here and then got this next one. Yeah, gotta be as efficient about it as possible, I guess. Okay, there's definitely water everywhere around here. Okay, this is where the gold is. How far down does all this water go? It actually goes down to deep slate. Um, all right, cool. It goes all the way down to Deep slate, and the thing is, now that I'm hitting deep slate, that also at the same time means that I'm probably gonna get less iron. So plugging that into my small brain, that means I probably have to go a little bit up before we go down again, just to be smart about it. And I think probably just right here. Is so the border is right there, which means this path right here is where we start at. Imagine if this is the only two pieces of iron that's in this entire border. There's absolutely no way, but I wouldn't even be surprised if I'm being honest. You know what's crazy? It doesn't feel unlikely. It does not feel unlikely that this is the only one because I'm not finding anything. You love to see it. Sure, I'm being very impatient, but at the same time, it's like getting scared. I like the looks of that, baby. All right, one, two. The ray, fiao, fwaf, noise, mate, that's seven. Oh, and lapis as well, I actually take the lapis. For what? Well, enchantments at like, well, a lot, 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 lot further into the future, that's for certain. Now I'm gonna do something that's probably gonna blow a lot of you guys away. I'm gonna think for a second right here. Seven pieces of iron, I think I'm gonna go back up 
and back up. I'm gonna then smelt these down. I'm gonna make myself a bucket. That leaves four pieces left. And with those four pieces, I'm gonna make one pickaxe, which then leaves one piece left, which I'm okay with not actually really using for anything right now. Jesus, everything has grown, man. That's so not Oh, this is... This is actually going a lot better than I ever thought it would. I'm almost at enough materials to actually build like a little hut that I thought of building. And if any of you guys have seen my 100 days in better hardcore Minecraft, you guys probably already know the type of thing that I'm gonna go with. Because I really like that build and I think it would fit in very well to this world right here because we don't actually need a base base but we need like a storage place we're definitely gonna need more than this right here but it's it's getting there i say about like two to three stacks of oak locks is plenty gonna do it which according to all of this growth right here that shouldn't actually take that long so let's make ourselves a furnace let's just throw it out on the side right here let's throw in one piece of coal and then smelt this iron down. And with those first three pieces, we can then make a bucket. Oh, nice, an apple. Yeah, I'll actually eat that. All right, so with this bucket, let's throw that there, nope. Let's actually also make another shovel. Not an iron one though, that would be horrendously dumb. Should I make a stone cutter? Let's melt down eight pieces. I think a stone cutter requires one iron, right? We have one iron left. I think I actually might do that. I want to make stairs. And even though I have a bunch of cobblestone and stuff like that, I kind of still want to utilize the stone cutter to not waste a bunch of cobblestone. So isn't it just like this right here? Yep, exactly. Let's do that. Maybe microscopical waste, maybe a massive waste actually, but still worth it. And also let's do an iron pickaxe as well. And then let's make a bunch of stairs because I'm going to use, well, an insane amount. I feel like it's going to be worth it, man, because I'm going to probably be running up and down so incredibly much. Sometimes we just got to think ahead and invest in the future. I am actually going to grab all this copper and stuff because maybe I can use it for some building something. There could always be something you can do with it. I wonder if oh, if I could get lava and stuff like that. I'm not going to get enough lava from here, but if I could get a good amount of lava in terms of going to the nether, man, that would be dope. Because that kind of expands everything, right? It makes us go from a 10x10 10 10 to a 20x20 20 20 just by having another dimension. But yeah, no way we're going to get that before, well, most likely a good while. Damn, how far down did I go? I feel like I've been going for a while now. All right, lovely. Here is where the water is. So then I just have to run all the way back up and then all the way back down again to get another bucket so we can get an infinite water source. This was worth it. This was very much so worth it. It is. Oh, this is nice. Actually, this is very, very nice. This probably shouldn't be as nice as it is, could it? but it makes me, well, maybe a little too happy, actually. Okay, let's just dig out a little area right here, dump this down, and then... Actually, let's just really quick chop the trees down so they can throw down all the saplings while we run down. Oh, this is one of the big trees. That's annoying. It's always an issue getting every single block. Oh, another apple. That's cool. I do actually want to smelt down a bunch of cobblestone, because I, even though we're not trying to waste too many materials, I still want to make my builds look good. Absolutely. I don't care. I want to make the builds look good. So if I have to waste some small amount, I think it's absolutely 100% worth it, man. Gotta have the builds look great. There's just no way around that. Let's eat this apple right here so we can actually just run a little faster. Okay, so let's just get down here, grab another water bucket, and then let's start working on the upstairs stairs a little or do i try to go further down and see if i can maybe hit a cave and kill a couple of skeletons ah, i should have probably saved that one piece of iron to make a shield whatever it's okay i don't think that's too big of an issue i really wish there was like a rare chance an oak tree could drop a apple tree sapling i know they don't exist but like i want them to exist so it's like a rare rare chance you could actually get that and then that tree just gives you a bunch of apples that would be super cool i know it doesn't really make sense overall but just imagine that would be i feel like that would be so nice 
But maybe that's just me being stuck in a 10 by 10 border, not having any food or anything <laughs> at all, honestly. So whatever I could get, I would just be happy with. Let's actually chop down this beehive. Oh no, wait, they're angry at me. Oh, hold up, no, 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 no. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold up. How long is the poison? Wait, do I die by poison? Wait, no. Wait, don't tell me that I made that. No. Oh my god, I thought that was it. I did not realize that I should not have destroyed that. I forgot all about that. Ah. Half a heart. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. That is annoying. And that's all my own fault. <laughs> that is absolutely 100% my own fault. There's no one else to blame. That was just me not thinking. That's such a mad move on my part. I'm gonna fill all this in so we don't have the water running around everywhere. I gotta be extra careful right now. I don't want to go back up there because I have no idea what's going to happen now. I don't know how long the bees are going to stay pissed. Like, it's to the point where it's like, if you, like, get your girlfriend angry, and, like, she stays angry all day, every day, and there's just nothing you can ever do about it again. She's just going to be, like, mad for basically the rest of your life, or is it just, like, they're going to be mad for a little bit, but then they're going to be okay again. That's, I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to, like, make my way around all this water right here because the water actually scares me now. Because now I can drown. Well, I can drown either way, but can't even take a second to risk anything. I am surprisingly mad at myself of that. Oh, wow. Iron Deep Slate. That is... Act That's really unexpected, honestly. I will take... Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me bro just outside all right that's life <laughs> that is life brother god damn it still four pieces is super nice i think that a hopper is a move to get a bunch of eggs i think i'm gonna make another crafting table because i forgot mine up there I genuinely do think that might be the move. I put the chickens inside there. I get a bunch of eggs that I can always throw in to get more chickens. Of course, I'm going to start getting more chickens the second I get more seeds. But that's the thing. The second I actually get more seeds. Because it's going to take forever for me to even get seeds to the point where it's going to be like... What am I trying to say? Enough for me to have extras. That's exactly what I was trying to say. So I think for the short term... Now, Hopper is absolutely going to be worth it. And then in the future, it's going to be useless. But then maybe at that point, we have forms that's going to like use a Hopper. Because we can always make a mob form or something like that, which we could use a Hopper for. Not that it's necessary, but it's always nice to use a Hopper in that. I'm going to just break this pickaxe and then go back up. I truly do not hope these bees are still mad at me. I also got to figure out some sort of food. Why are those scary sounds necessary? I almost dropped a dookie in my pants. I actually want to take this tough block. That's definitely also something that we can use for building. I think tough block is a pretty underrated block. Like, again, useful, usefulness, nothing but building style. Dope. Like, super freaking dope. Alright, perfect. Pickaxe is also broken, which is kind of what I wanted so I can get back up. If I die, I am actually going to cry because I do like this spawn, I think. <laughs> to the extent that what we can actually get in such a short little border, I'm happy with what we got. Would have been better if there was maybe like lava and, and stuff like that. But overall, I still think that I'll absolutely take it. Are the bees going to be mad still? Bro, I'm actually genuinely scared that they're angry. Because I don't know if the first puns is actual damage. One could hope they just flew away. <laughs> One could hope that. I should not have destroyed it though. I don't know why I did it. I wasn't actually thinking. Wow, those eggs just despawned right in front of me. That's why we need a hopper. Alright, so I did a quick little Google search and it seems like as long as you are 12 blocks away, you can actually have mobs spawning. 
So with that in mind, I think maybe I should clear out a room down here and I'm gonna go a little down. I think maybe like right here. So if I just go in here and clear out this area in here, I can also then hopefully get some more iron. But if I can clear out this area right here, then make it dark. I can hopefully turn this into a little mop spawner because maybe some skeletons would be nice for some um, bone meal and stuff like that so we can actually make some progress. I'm not exactly sure how the system works but I guess that's something that I definitely got to learn with this world right here since we are again extremely limited so whatever small little tips and tricks there is to make things work that's what we got to learn and then we can probably just like go down layer by layer like again and again and again and then the more layers we have the more mobs can spawn so gotta make sure we make it set so that it's dark you know what i can use this iron pickaxe a little bit so we can clear this out faster i'm not gonna need all this durability either way because there's not gonna be that many blocks that's needed for the iron pickaxe quickly gonna get up and see if hopefully a couple apples maybe have dropped that would be a no oh my god that is a massive tree it's a weird one with these big trees because it's a good thing in terms of we can get a bunch of apples from something like this right here but at the same time they're just wildly annoying to chop down Let's actually make our first chest since we are running quickly out of space. I'm actually almost scared to build up here because if I accidentally fall off, I'm dead. So I've really got to play it slow. Oh, I see an apple. That was an apple. We need, we probably need three apples at this point right here with how much our durability has gone down though. Oh, that was another one. Oh my God, hold up. Maybe it's going to be possible. Yeah, I need one more apple. And if my durability goes down, I'll need even more. I have three chickens. Do I just kill one of them? And I think that's worth it, man. Honestly, I think it is. I think playing this way is just way too risky. And then if we can just get one more apple to drop right now, I can be back to basically full health, I think. I'm gonna just clear out this area right here so we have everything down at the nice let's go it's rare that you can be this happy about just a simple that oh my god another one oh my god <laughs> let's go i will take it that one chicken had to make the sacrifice but i think i think we should honor him forever he did a great job I'd love for this one to grow it should be close right Imagine that tree grew on me and I would have taken damage. Like if I had half a heart left and that was what killed me. One of my trees growing. That would have been a... <laughs> that would actually have been hilarious. Of course, I did not want that to happen, but that would have been very freaking funny, man. I think I'm going to take a bit of this wood right here and turn that into some charcoal. I got plenty of saplings that I can just... No, actually, I don't want to use saplings now that I think about it. Because if I can use saplings and compost them. Okay, here we go. Grown. Three. Big. Big, 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 big. Let's get that. Let's put these two down. Let's just get a decent amount of charcoal, though. This right here, we get ourselves a composter, which we're just going to throw right there. And then... We got 25 saplings right now, which probably isn't going to be even one. Jesus. Composters are horrible. That's actually insane how bad they are. Might be horrible, but it's going to be worth it. Let's make it back down again and then finish off this micro farm that we've just built. Wait, where did I build it? <laughs> oh, right here. Okay. I don't know if this right here actually causes light i have genuinely no idea if that's the case or not but let's go out right here let's just throw in actually let's just really quick do this and then turn to andesite slabs so then they can come right here and we can then destroy them okay so let's see this right here is causing light most likely that is causing light that definitely seems like 
it's solid now in terms of light. So let's just throw maybe one here so we don't have anything spawning around here. Could anything spawn here? I don't think so. I'm going to go up for a short amount of time and then go back down. Hey, baby chicken, let's go. I think that was the first one we actually got from all these eggs. Maybe wasting all this iron on a um, on a hopper for the chicken. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, because, Jesus, they, 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 they do take their time to... Uh, to wait to spawn. Ooh, nice. Our first piece of bone meal. Let's just put the pace up on that one, I guess. Another apple. That's... Well, I'm very happy right now. Things are going <laughs> much, much smoother than I could have ever dreamt of. Alright, let's go down and see if any mobs have spawned. And of course, I gotta be careful. Nothing. Interesting. See, I don't know if it's because I'm not far enough away, or if maybe... Well, honestly, I don't know. Is there light coming in from down here, maybe? I'm gonna try and block it completely off and then see... Probably that doesn't work either. I'm definitely doing something wrong, but we gotta test things. Yeah, nothing is happening. I'm trying to go, like, way further down now and see if maybe if I do it, like, this far down that it changes anything in terms of spawn. Again. <gasps> no way. Bro, stop. Stop. That's... No. Wait, how many? How many? Oh my god, stop, there's no- Oh my god! What? Is it an 8? Is it a, maybe a 9 even? It could be a 9. Oh my god. Oh my god, is there more up top? It's not. No? Alright, it's an 8. May okay, well, under here there could be- Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Uh, do I- Yeah, I definitely just grab, alright? I was like, do I wait until I get a fortune? No, I don't, bro. <laughs> Because uh, that's never going to happen, bro. At least not for a long time. God. Alright, it was an 8. An 8 is freaking insane. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm definitely making a diamond pickaxe, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's going to go so much faster with everything. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That's like, well, I think day four. So it took us four days to get diamonds. I think that's solid. I think that's very solid, honestly. Oh my God. And we got iron. This layer though. Oh my God. The amount of ores is insane. And couple outside the border potentially. Well, if it's just a copper, then I do not mind. Which it is. All right, bet. I don't mind that at all. Okay. All right, we gotta just block things in, in terms of... Again, I do not... I have no idea if I actually need to fill this in, in terms of a light level. I don't know if those add light levels. It would be, like, weird if they did, but at the same time, something in me just feels like I wouldn't be surprised. I'm thinking with all these diamonds in terms of what we should even use them for, because sure... Absolutely, we could do like diamond armor and stuff, but I'm wondering now that since it's such a small circle, I don't know how scared I have to be in terms of anything really at coming close to me and attacking me in terms of mobs because, well, there shouldn't be anything, right? Like, there, I don't think there should be anything actually. Again, I could be like, not correct, bro. The fact that those irons are right there, those there and diamonds right there, that's such a small little place for so much to happen you know what i don't think I, the border there's no way it actually adds anything i don't know why i would even think it would add light it definitely doesn't i think i'm just being like overly like whatever <laughs> overly something i think you know what i mean right i'm overthinking it that's gonna be what i say then hopefully this right here is gonna cause some space spawning all right let's see what happens then but i can't believe i just got all these diamonds though that is that's too exciting nothing has spawned here so that's i'm pretty certain that was a waste of time making that but again you know we're here to learn inventory is absolutely completely 
busted full, so I gotta empty out a bit. Another chicken, let's go. I'm gonna just spend this night time clearing out all these trees right here. The only issue right now that I'm facing is the fact that I wanna make this build right here. But the second I make the build, that then means that in terms of planting trees and stuff, I can't plant that many since, you know, it's gonna take up all the space. And yeah, but again, how much do I really need though at this point? Like I'm pretty solid on what the only thing is, it's pretty cool to get saplings and stuff like that. And also pretty cool to get apples, but it's also pretty cool building stuff. <laughs> I definitely don't wanna leave these first days without having done any bills that would be way too boring okay let's try and make the run back down once again and see if anything has happened in terms of spawning there is a little thing inside me that just thinks that simply just due to this like world being as small as it is there's just something that causes things to not spawn specifically for that reason i don't know if that's true or not it probably isn't but i don't know what it is <gasps> that could have been so bad Okay, we got a zombie, so something can spawn. Oh my god, I almost messed that up. Oh my, bro, if there was a creeper in here, I would have lost my world. Oh my god. Okay, at least we know it works. <gasps> Yo, I cannot believe I just did that. I genuinely almost just lost this world. I feel like the bats are gonna like completely ruin the entire spawn rate of everything, but I don't know if that's how it works. But for certainty, like... The more layers I add, the more efficient this thing is going to be since it is this small. Right, let's actually get back up so we don't lose all the saplings. I'm very happy to see that it works. It was probably mostly just due to the distance between this other spawner and me. I could go in there and take out all the walls to uh, expand it a little bit down there because, you know, these don't actually add light effects, so it's just gonna be another block for them to spawn on. And it's now day five, which means that we are halfway through at this point. Starting to get a lot of wood, and I'm also starting to be at the point where I think it's enough. AKA, I wanna make this build. I wanna make this build, bro. I know it's such a, I guess, actually dumb idea, because it does take up a lot of space that's like, necessary space for things when you're so limited but builds are just cool oh wait hold up bro if this guy walks over here we have a villager Ooh. does he go this far away though i feel like he walks he does not walk that far away i feel like that's too far yeah it definitely is Okay, that's every single sapling and tree removed, so we actually have some space to do this build. Lucky chicken? No. So I'm gonna start off by grabbing this stone right here. I might actually use a bit of andesite, potentially. We'll see about that. But I'm gonna throw in this stone right here, and I'm gonna turn the stone into stone bricks. And then also, I'm gonna get a couple of chisel stone bricks. I'm impressed by how much junk I already have. <laughs> let's also, while we add it, remove our water source. All right, so let's start off by doing this corner and this corner. So then we got eight blocks in between, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Nine blocks in between. Let's do one, two, three, boom. One, two, three, and a boom. Wait, I think I could do this the exact size as I had in that other one. That's cool. All right, boom. In terms of how far it's going to go out, it can't go out too far. So maybe one, two, three. Is five too much? It's a lot. Now we do four because then we can do double chests. And then basically we just do the same right here. So this is where the doorway is going to be. Then another barrel right here. I'm gonna then do one, two, three. Do I take full damage? I do. <laughs> Damn, that's annoying. One, two, one, two, three, three. Best water bucket clutch you out here seeing me do it. And then we just do this all the way around. Then I want a bunch of there, where we just do this right here on the sides that we actually can because we aren't able to do every single side due to the uh, the border 
just like this right here. Then since I don't have any other like type of wood so I could like make the roof look a little different instead of doing it with like spruce or birch or something like that I either am gonna do cobblestone or andesite and I think andesite is probably slightly better looking than cobblestone. Oh another chicken let's go! <laughs> All right, so if we build ourselves up right here, then on the outside right here is where I will be adding in the- Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Whoa. Hold up. Yeah, I forgot all about the fact defensive. Oh my god, I actually shit myself, bro. My heart. <sighs> I genuinely could have had a heart attack right there. That's a madness, bro. Phantoms, of course. Don't you go away. Oh my god, bro. I am so bad at hitting these guys. That's one down. Come on, your last two. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, brother? Come on. Come on. You won't. Seems like I won't either because I can't hit for anything. Uh, don't hit me. When the roof is on this one, I can just like run inside, but yeah, gotta make the roof first. <laughs> Yo, they're not coming down actually. Nice, that's another one. Oh, I thought, I didn't think they were gonna spawn more before like later on. I thought that was after like more days. What in the Phantom Skadansum? Yo, that one was aggressive, man. One guy left, okay, I was about to say, he's bugging out like crazy. He's kind of ruining everything because I... Don't want him to do damage to me, but he's not actually coming down. How about this egg, bro? Ugh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yes, let's go. <laughs> right, is this guy just not coming down? You know what? I'm, if he comes down, he comes down. That guy is being a hell of annoying, man. He's being a real phantom. All right, I'm going to keep on going with my roof. So we're going to do something like this right here. I'm actually going to change this right here to that. Whoops. You goddamn son of a bitch. You son of a phantom. Don't have food for this, bro. And I'm not going to be able to grow more trees because I'm being a... Dum dum doing this house right now. <laughs> Should have really not done this house, honestly. Oh my god, I'm actually getting so many chickens. Honestly, I might actually do this hopper thing if I'm being completely honest. I'm getting a lot more chickens than I thought I would. There it is, last phantom. Oh my god. The level of satisfaction. All right, let's build this roof right here. So we're going to extend it out like this. Except the middle part, which is going to be andesite, and then kind of just keep it rolling. And then on this side right here, you do the andesite like this right here, up, and then just like that. Wait, what's wrong? Wait, is it right? Is it wrong? What? Wait, how is it not the same? Wait, how is it not the same? <laughs> so it goes one, 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 one. Then there's a middle one, and then... Ah... Okay. I forgot to add a stair right here. That's not how it's supposed to be, but for now... <laughs> just gonna real quick do that. I'll fix that very quickly. Then this, this, this. Okay, now my brain works again. That was, that was melting my brain. It doesn't take much, but still. It did. So then we just completely fill out the roof just like this. Making sure the middle one is open so we can then add andesite instead. Then a last few pieces in here. If I can stop messing everything up, hopefully. There we go. Get the last few oak slabs right there. Alright, perfect. That's the roof. I think I need to do this though. This is gonna be very ugly and kind of ruin the whole aspect of this house right here. But at the same time, we have such little space. We gotta utilize what we got. What I wanna do is I want to right here. Yeah, right here in the back. Can you get in? There you go. I'm gonna do this right here and I'm gonna remove the 
part up there. I'm gonna make six ladders because I do think that yeah, that's plenty. And then go up here. Okay, so on the roof right here, I think we need to place dirt around up here. No, it kind of ruins the whole idea of this house right here, but I still need to grow trees. I think eight trees at a time should be plenty. It's mostly just because I really want some more apples. And I also want a bunch of saplings so I can actually like start getting this going. All right, then inside here, we got to make sure the andesite is like that. So it looks a little cleaner and the same for that right there. I'm going to go around adding in a bunch more slabs to make the inside of the house look better since it gets a little ruined by... The, okay, come on. Oh, you can't do that right here. Okay. Actually, that doesn't matter. All right, I fixed up the roof a little bit. Still looks a little off though, honestly. All right, a few things done to the roof right here. It definitely adds a little bit more flavor to it on the inside. Then now we got to change the floor as well. So the floor should honestly be pretty simple. If I'm being honest, I want to do these right here for like the outside things. I don't know. Just go through all the way around really quickly, throwing these in. Gonna need five more pieces. Five more chiseled bricks right there, one there, and then four right here. The second these chickens start or stop being so annoying. <laughs> can you like not? Anyways, while they're being annoying, we can then clear out this floor right here. One down, one to go. If there's one thing I'm crazy about, it's lanterns. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh my god, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm almost considering actually making lanterns, but I know how insane of a waste it is, but I'm almost considering it. Who knows? It might happen, but I'm going to try to make myself not do it because it would be completely, <laughs> completely a waste. All right. So for the floor on the inside, I think I want to just do wood right here. And then just these right here, like this. Then I'm going to take a bunch of my wood and turn this into a bunch of fences. 48 is probably not going to do it, but it's going to be a start. So with this right here, I'm also going to do it on the side right here, like that. Same thing over here, as well as that on this back right here. So now these are completely filled in and I maybe, maybe I'll remove some of them to actually like place things there that could probably be smarter. But then again, how much space do I really need in here? Anyways, for the front ones, I'm just going to do one. I want to be able to like look in. I don't want it to be closed off where it makes more sense that the back is closed off. And then while I see this beauty right here, why not just go up and chop these trees down real quick? Beautiful. And we got, oh, we got a grown one. Let's go. And it gives me three seats again. Okay. What I want to do is I want to throw furnace down right here. I'm going to throw in all the iron. Grab some of this charcoal so we can actually smell down this iron right here. I'm going to be making the hopper. I've decided that that is worth it, man. So I trap all the chickens and then get a hopper so I can hopefully get a bunch of eggs, which then equals a lot more chickens and then hopefully we can start getting some decent food from that so we don't have to you know be depending on apples and stuff like that because i like chopping down these trees and everything like that but then again if i could like not do it i'd probably do that dope unfortunately that's probably gonna mean phantoms in a second right here let's make another chest so we can actually make the hopper the second this is all ready Let's grab a couple of torches for now and keep myself from making lanterns. <laughs> Just like this, right? Light this area up well and nicely. Maybe we do some deep slate tiles. It's actually like a pretty solid block. Let's grab some of those. Let's make sure there's no phantoms on me. Then we clear out this area right here. Throw in all of these tiles. A bunch more. Yeah, let's just make 20 that actually i can then throw in the dirt again right here right here i'm gonna throw the chest inside the middle go inside grab the iron then make another chest realizing i just used the chest that i was supposed to use for the hopper 
right there. Oh yeah, hopper's only five iron. It's not too bad actually. Throw this hopper right here. No phantoms. That's pretty dope. Do this right here all the way around and then one more once again then take these and then turn them into slabs throw them at each corner like this so that the chickens can't get out let's then grab the seeds right here and then slowly but surely get all of these chickens to just go down here i could have just made a trap door that would then have them fall down eh, i can just push them yeah, pushing him works. Go down. Nice. Nice. Is that every single chicken? That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That's pretty dope. Throw these eggs in here. Another one. Nice. The more the merrier. Can I open this right here? Yeah, I can. And then literally right here is going to be where the chest is. I suppose then we grab some more wood and let's do how many chests let's do 10 chests yeah let's actually do like double chests right here but then only single chests on this side yeah that looks actually good just like that yeah i like that that looks that looks great let's then make three more furnaces so we have four why because it's cool <laughs> That's why. Let's also actually use our brain and get these seeds planted so we can start growing even more. Let's make one deep slate tile stair that goes up like this. Perfect. Yeah, that works. That absolutely works. Gotten any eggs yet? Oh, nice. One. What could we add besides the furnaces right here? That would be cool. Maybe just crafting tables, then take the uh, stone cutter and throw the stone cutter on top of the crafting table, something like that. Doesn't look great, but it doesn't look completely disgusting either. I guess then we have the composter, which I'm just going to put to the side right there. I think that's honestly all we really needed to do inside right here for now. I'm happy with this. I think this turned out pretty good. Looks pretty decent, actually. With the amount of stuff we have, I like it, man. Got the chicken farm as well, which is giving us slowly but surely a couple of eggs. And another chicken. Let's get it, boy. I would love leather so I could actually do uh, item frames on this. That would be super cool, but that's not a possibility, at least for the moment. So I just kind of have to remember where I put stuff, I guess. Which we all know I ain't gonna remember that at all. Let's make andesite the top row... Let's make a row for gravel right there. Let's make a granite one. Let's do a dirt chest as well. Probably just going to do tough inside this one right here since no way we're getting that much tough. Let's take this chest, which we should have just used actually in here. <laughs> but whatever. Extra chest, I guess. Let's then do a chest for my wood. All of my wood stuff. Just do that, that. Just throw the chest in there since it is wood related. Sticks at the top, ladders at the side. I guess stone can go in here as well. Diorite can go in there as well, so that just gets completely filled up now. I guess then let's do a chest right. Yeah, let's just do this chest right here. So we do lapis, diamonds, coal, which is probably going to need a lot of space. Then let's do raw copper, which probably is going to need a lot, a lot of space. Let's throw in the iron right here as well. And the redstone in here as well. Flint in this one. Let's do fancy. Probably going to get a bunch of fancy stuff, actually. Let's do the feather as well. So now everything is very, very organized. I'm actually <laughs> really proud of myself. I never have things disorganized, ever. So we got 45 saplings. Let's see if we can just get one piece of bone meal. Throw in some more. We can probably oh, we get another one. Bet. Let's get this one all grown and then this one almost all grown. Only one seed. Oh, y'all are doing me dirty. We needed that, and we needed that bad. Wait, what? Where's the sheep? Maybe it went down to the mines. Crossing my fingers, it did. I'm telling you one thing. When I do the thumbnail for this video, these are not gonna be on the roof. That's for sure. 
<laughs> That's 100% for sure. Nice. I'll come back up and hopefully get a bunch more saplings because I actually do genuinely want all the saplings for some bone meal. Hopefully that grows very soon. Got some more eggs, which is super dope. Keeping myself organized for once, man. I like that. Let's also make our first piece of bread and eat that. Let's take a trip down into the mines right here and see if any of the farms have started working. Okay, so this one was utterly completely useless, but you know what? I don't actually mind. At least we just mined out the area. We could have found some iron or something like that. Can't even remember if we did. Okay, let's see. Ooh, yes. Oh, whoa, hold up. What was able to hit me right there is my question. I don't think there's this. There's definitely a creeper though, so we gotta watch out for that one. Well, don't do that. I told you don't do that. How many times do I have to say it? Damn, bro, you're like a child. You ain't listening at all, are you? Oh, there is a skeleton in here that died. Not seeing any bones. That's okay. Yes, I'm using a pickaxe to kill them. <laughs> Forgot to make another axe. I do not know if all these bats ruin the spawn rate. They don't, right? Because they're just, like, friendly, so... I'm gonna actually say they probably don't, so there's no reason to me to waste time killing them. I think a solid thing to do could be to actually add even another layer, either right on top or right under. I think it's just right on top on it. See, so we got the layer, so that would mean that if we do right here, I believe. Let me just check. Wait, no, one, one down. Okay, yeah. So just this layer right here. Yeah, I can just clear out this entire layer and hopefully that will then even make the farm quicker. First, I'm going to make a quick trip back up to actually get some of these saplings that hopefully dropped. Yeah, I was kind of hoping there was going to be a skeleton down there so I could actually get uh, get some bones. Ah, oh, let's go. It's grown. It's freaking grown. Keep on planting. I have five diamonds right now. I almost want to go down into the mine see if i can get a couple more to get a chest piece i don't even want necessarily full diamond armor of course i love it that's not what i'm trying to say but what i'm just saying is that it could so be so freaking cool if i could just maybe get like at least a chest piece within these first 10 days i think that could be super clean i'm sure it's gonna happen but it could oh no one escaped I'll let you live for now. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, hold up. <laughs> bro is like, nah, I, I'm trying to die, bro. What do you mean, live? Nah. <laughs> I ain't doing that, my guy. Catch you later, alligator. <clears throat> All right, cool. That was a madness. That was really good. You even have, like, extra storage with the barrels right here, but it's probably never going to use, but still, you got it. Like, how much junk can I actually end up getting? <laughs> Probably a lot. If I just mined out an area on the ground, could the trees then just still grow in there? Do they need daylight to grow? I feel like they don't. I feel like they maybe they grow faster with the daylight potentially, but they don't need per se, or do they? See, I'm asking you guys, but it's like you can't answer me because you guys are a lot further into the future than we are right now, which is kind of weird to think about, but it's the truth. Wait, what was I just saying? I forgot what I was just saying. Oh yeah, growing trees on the ground. Can trees grow on the ground? Bro, wow, that was one of the first things. Yes, they can grow anywhere as long as they have height and dirt can plant them. Neither. Okay, so that's actually, yes, trees can grow without sunlight. Almost like my fat ass. All right, that's really, really cool to know, man, because then we can actually do that, right? We could actually just make a tree farm on the ground, and it would be a lot nicer than actually having it on the roof right here. Oh, I need, like, one or two more saplings, and I can get a uh, another piece of bone. Oh, cool. Hold up. A little bit of iron. Okay. How many? Two pieces? Nothing more? Alright, dope. I'll take it. Oh, skeletons. A lot of skeletons. How many was that? At least two, right? One. Oh, there's three. There's four. There's four skeletons. Oh my god, I'm about to die with that. It seems like the spider has the ability to hit me. Because he is, like, smaller. Okay. 
Oh! Okay. That's bad. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Can I make it through without dying? Oh, Lord. All right. Wildly annoying because I really wanted that. But, uh... Okay. This just shows me that I got to get down and I got to get myself a diamond chest plate. If there's a phantom up here right now, I'm dead. Quick run inside right here. We got a bit of bone right here. So if we can just... Nice, that only took one. That one is steep, though. Three. Let's get a piece of bread. I'm going to kill two chickens. Let's just use sticks. That should be do it. Boom. Cool. That definitely wasn't the end of the world, but that could have been the end of the world. Literally. We got some string as well. That's really dope, man, because I do want string so we can get bows. Let's actually make a whole bunch more cobblestone stairs for the, uh, the downstairs. I'm going to take the diamonds with me, and then I'm going to now go down and I'm going to freaking find diamonds. Watch me quickly throw these eggs in so we can hopefully get a chicken more. Of course not. Let's make an extra shovel. I'll work on this layer right after I found some more diamonds. Wait, there's no mobs in here? I feel like the levels I'm at right now is probably like good levels to get diamonds. It's almost like, actually, you know what? I should probably actually just utilize the diamond hunt to just open these areas right under right here and then extend the mop farm. This is the block they're standing on. So yeah, exactly. Just like this. Yeah, let's freaking get some diamonds. I think it's a little high up. I think I want to go just a little bit further down. I think I want to do like right here. I've already started down here, so I could probably get something down here. That is going to look fake. <laughs> that is going to look so fake because I didn't even finish the sentence. And that kind of also was what happened earlier, wasn't it? Um, <sighs> yeah. Oh, it's only two. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. Yeah, it puts us at seven. I'll need one more for a chest piece. I feel like there's no... Oh my god. I feel like there's no way. And I mean no way that there's going to be more diamonds in this chunk, bro. There's no way. Like, that's just too mad. Honestly, I, I don't believe that's going to be... Oh, damn. There's actually a lot of mobs in there now. I am pleasantly surprised by how well this actually works, though. I, I did not think it was going to be great at all. And especially when it was such a big disappointment earlier from, like, further up. But, yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm just... I'm going to be so honest, but I don't think there's any way I'm going to get more diamonds, man. I was... <sighs> Uh, I think I might just do iron in terms of armor, if I'm being honest. I don't know, bro. It's like, it only is like one more, but honestly, I don't know. I think I might just make an iron chest piece. Yeah, I'm going to do that, man. I, I don't feel like waiting that much longer f to be safe. I really, really don't. I don't want to waste my diamonds on paints or anything like that for now. I feel like I could probably get a decent amount more iron if I go on a trip. So I might actually just try to do that to see if we can get full iron. Oh, 19 seeds is pretty baller. Oh, nice. You can actually use this out here. That does give us... Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I don't know why I didn't just use this. That's going to give us a lot more space for now. But I probably do have to make underground farms. Pretty cool if I could get like potato or carrot or something. Whoops. Let's go to the roof, let's chop down these trees, and then let's go on the ground. Again. Space for trees to grow. Minecraft. At least seven blocks. Cool. Alright. So basically, I need to go underground and make it seven tall. I basically consider all these sticks that I'm getting from these trees right here just as free fuel for the furnace. Oh, that's why it ain't breaking. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's annoying. Eww, that's very annoying. That's gonna ruin the thumbnail, bro. That is going to ruin the thumbnail. I might have to go into a creative world. <laughs> I'll just make like a copy of this world and then remove it so I can actually do a proper thumbnail because that is going to ruin it. Of course, I won't do it in this world. That would be cheating. But it's to the point where 
Oh, actually, next when, when the next days hit, it's gonna just expand. That's true. I'm surprised I didn't get any saplings. Actually, <laughs> how did I not get any more saplings? I did not even get enough saplings to replant at all. That's insane. Okay, so do we not just do this right here? Right? I think we just go down literally right here instead. Instead of using the stairs and everything, we just go down right here to make a. Actually, I'm gonna do it another way. I'm gonna do this right here. So on each side, there'll be a stair down instead of one in the middle. I kind of like that. So this is like, yeah, let's turn all this wood into planks. So then what we do is we just slowly but surely go down right here. And then we can just kind of fill this in with oak. We also are going to need a bunch more ladders. So let's see, how many ladders does these sticks give us for now? Six more. That's not going to be enough since it needs to be seven. Okay, let's first off see. This is one, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has to go down to here. So then down here is where I have to expand out. And then I have to just go like one step down into the floor right here. And that's where I can do the, uh, the dirt inside. Oh, this is going to require a lot of work now that I realize it's going to be seven layers. That's that's a lot. The diamond axe does make up for it a little bit. I honestly think if this breaks, I'll make another one. I feel like it's worth it. This is going to take forever, bro. <laughs> do I even... Can I even manage to actually do this before the days are over? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not gonna completely actually, uh, I'm not gonna completely actually clear out this area down here. Um, I thought, actually, you know what? Yeah, because I'll just take, I'm, I'm thinking right now. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I will. Not. Or will I? I don't know. <laughs> the issue is that this stuff and, and, all these things are like getting in the way now, but we could take it. We could definitely take stuff like this down underground though, instead of having it up here. We got a decent area down here. It's just these few things are getting in the way. But if I do just clear out these last few blocks around here, which I probably just should have done before I actually started recording again. I'm running out of time though. <laughs> I am running out of time, which is an issue. But yeah, when we get down here, I'm just going to lay out how much. So like, I think if we do this right here, that's enough for a tree to grow, right? Because we can just have him grow literally on top of each other that doesn't matter that's actually better uh, to have them grow on top of each other because if they do that then they don't have to like spread out as much you might get a few less saplings and stuff like that but i don't actually mind that you know what quickly before we do that i want to go back up and i want to go all the way up right here and i want to chop these trees really quickly so i can actually get some saplings because i need saplings for the downstairs these trees are not growing fast at all right now, but I hate the fact that that's, this one happened. But yeah, basically I just need all of these saplings to drop, and I want these other trees to grow as well so I can just have them drop, but what I can then do is just fi start filling all this in, we can just completely fill it out. Annoyingly so, this water is gonna get in the way, but if I do the water like... Uh, actually... I can still do that, right? Well, now I can't place due to the... Uh... <laughs> oh, everything is going wrong. Okay, okay, just like that. I can then place... I could have just done it on the... I should have just done it on the side right here. Or whatever. I just place the water down here. I can then remove this right here. So now that I... Now when I dig up, not everything is going to just like drill up over everywhere. Imagine having like efficiency 5 right now. It would just been... <laughs> it would have been so nice. Everything is just breaking. I'm going to actually just do another one literally right here i think i'm gonna have like <laughs> 50 crafting tables by the 100 days for sure there's gonna be crafting tables literally everywhere around the entire world cannot remove that block right there that will mean the water is gonna fall down so oh see oh wow see the tree grew oh my god so it works that is actually extremely satisfying to see that oh my god nice and it grew like 
really quick as well. That's freaking awesome, man. So all I got to do now is I just want to completely remove this inside area right here and then completely fill it in with dirt. I'm going to leave two blocks on the outside. I'm going to just have, I want to have a complete wall right here, but everything else is going to have like two blocks free on the outside. Yeah, I guess I don't really need any more of these trees up here to grow. So I just got to come back for these last few saplings. Because now there is space enough down there for the to actually start growing. Did I just see a sapling? Oh, I did. Yeah, we just go down here. And then we just start filling in. Oh, nice. Things have grown up here as well. This is... Everything is just be coming together so nicely right now. Let's quickly make an infinite water source. That's how you do it. Let's give this piece of water back so my crops can actually grow. Although I'm 100% going to remove these crops at some point. Okay, so what I want to do down here is I want to do this all the way around right here. I want to actually make it look okay down here. Just block this up. I'm going to make another system in terms of going down to the caves. All right, we got a complete water around here i'm gonna then remove every single piece of stone around the outside here as well but it will not be water out here though oh damn I need to block that off make sure that that might just over swim everything down there i'm gonna throw a stack of cobblestone in here and i'm gonna smelt it down i'm gonna throw another one in here and honestly just do the exact same thing to speed things up up. We are definitely running out of time now. Do I even want stone? I could just do deep slate. Deep slate is pretty much cooler, honestly. You know what? Let's grab these deep slate tiles and chains up my deer. So then for the like surroundings right here all the way around, I'm going to do deep slate tiles. That's a really cool blog, actually. Just like that. Let's grab some more wood so we can then fill in the rest of this wall right here. Then let's do four deep slate tiles tile walls one for each corner and let's throw a torch on just like that i'm gonna then also keep the torches right here as well then as soon as all of this starts growing we can then completely fill all of this in with saplings surprisingly turned out decent down here it's like you, you can only do so much with what you got but definitely okay i'm actually gonna do that as well right yeah let's do that as well so you have like a space to run over the roof is absolutely horrible but as soon as i start changing up things up here which i'm gonna do it's gonna look way better oh wow that was almost very very s dumb <laughs> very very dumb one thing now is that we have blocked ourselves off our way down to the mine so i'm gonna actually remove this crafting table right here you know what i'm gonna make another one because i can do that and do that throw in that and then i'll just remove that since that's gonna start flowing down oh, okay gotta be a little bit more careful man i don't actually have food to even replenish my health when i lose it all and i have one stair i'll just make another crafting table <laughs> all right let's get a let's get a solid amount of stairs actually we're gonna probably need or gonna probably use so many throughout this entire thing so it makes it a lot easier for us to get up and down so now we have our way back down to the mines as well no issue there Oh my god, bro. I gotta block that off. I've just... Oh my god, I almost died. <laughs> that would have been... Oh, wow. Okay, almost. Not quite, but almost. See, now the issue comes right now that now I can't actually get down and get the eggs. <laughs> Which is what I wanted to do. I'm gonna kill two chickens because I'm very low on health and basically dying. I can just get it from here. That's okay. Throw some of this in here so we can actually get some food. Got another one right here. Lovely. And we got a whole bunch of eggs so we can hopefully get a bunch more chickens. Now that I think about it, I probably... Oh, I like the fact that they just run back in. I should actually just save all these eggs as I am keep on throwing them away. I should just save them and then build this chicken farm somewhere else, right? Because this spot right here is not good for it. It's very much so in the way. At least they just run back in there when they like get scared. So that's cool. 
well, something, whatever really happens to them, I'm not sure. And getting the rest of my health back. Block that off, remove this block right here. That's all we have time for for these first 10 days because it's just about to hit sunrise. But that is awesome. We have, we've done a lot, man. I'm actually genuinely pleasant, pleasant, pleasantly surprised with how much we've done. Still got to do a few more things to this room down here, which I think is pretty obvious. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's definitely got to get some things done to this room down here. We got to make it a lot better looking. We're going to keep on going down. So the next layer is just going to be a layer of seeds so we can hopefully get a bunch of bread. And then also we can just remove this up. That's day 10. And now the border is also going to expand.